guys. So, today we are going to ask, answer a subscriber question. And the subscriber question Fred, is basically, Frederick, what makes a good front-end developer? So let's get into it. Now, we're, here we are again, talking about front-end. Uh, it must be a very, po it's, it has to be a very popular subject, but nonetheless, let's get into answering that question because this is a tricky one and it's highly, highly opinionated as you can imagine. And there is no way for me to answer this without probably pissing somebody off. But nonetheless, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. So you may think that front end and all of that good stuff is about being really clever with CSS and JavaScript and HTML and all that good stuff. To a point, it is to a point. But let me clue you in on something. Let me explain to you what it is that most people seem to kind of leave out when they're talking about front-end. And that is, my friend, that CSS, JavaScript, and HTML, and all that good stuff, that is not something that is beyond most developers. Most of web developers or back-end developers, they can do this. In fact, most of my coworkers that have they have absolutely no background whatsoever in front-end development. They still work in the front-end every single day. They produce interfaces that are up to our designer's standards, just like me. Even though I've been working in front-end for a few years before, like previously. So that's kind of the, the thing that I want you to understand. Knowing CSS and just being stable with CSS and JavaScript and stuff like that, that is not something that is going to make you a good front-end developer. Because that's something that a, like, there are absolutely hardcore back-enders who will not touch the interface whatsoever. They have no idea how CSS works. They have no idea how any of that works. But the, when it all comes down to it, guys, CSS and JavaScript and design and layout and all that stuff, it's I, it's not that tricky to get CSS right. In the beginning, I'm sorry to say this, yes, it is tricky when you start out, but after a few years, it becomes like second nature to you. It's not something that you, you, you struggle with, not even, like, as I said, even my backend developer, backend coworkers are able to do this and it's something that you will be able to do as well. So to me, knowing how to do CSS or like a responsive layout, things of that nature, these are not things that are, in my personal opinion, something that is going to be the testament whether or not you're good or bad at something. And then you have quite people who will tell you things such as, all right, being really good with designing, having a feel for things, it's also something that makes you a good front-end developer. And yes, of course, having an eye for design makes you a good front-end developer, but that does not mean that you need to know Sketch and Photoshop and all that stuff, because that is the work of a designer. Unless you are a designer and a front-end developer at the same time, those sorts of skills will be useful to you, but they will not be critical. Because most of the time, and this is something that some people will fight me on, and I'm okay with that as well, freelancers or people who work at fairly small scale companies where they simply do not have the sort of money to have an entire design department together with a development department or an engineering department, they have a use for people who have this sort of skill. In fact, I can challenge you right now and go out on the job postings for front-end developers and look for anything anything in any of the job specifications that indicates that they are looking for somebody with a strong background in graphic design or UX or UI and just a bit of coding skill when they're talking about front-end developers because generally the IT, IT industry has defined a front-end developer as a programmer who specializes in JavaScript, front -end CSS and so forth who have an understanding especially it's almost in the sec it's not almost like in the Next breath, Angular, Vue, React, etc. That's what the industry likes to define it as today. And we can argue about the semantics, but that's the way it looks right now. So that's number two. So if design and so forth are useful, 
but not critical to be really good. I mean, now you can't, of course, if you are completely hopeless with this sort of thing, it's not, uh, that's not gonna be great because at the end of the day, you're still going to be able to work with people who have a background in design and you have to be able to produce the interfaces and follow the guidelines in the artboards and all that good stuff. So what is it per my definition that makes somebody a good front-end developer? Well, let's start off by simply saying, first and foremost, you have to be a good engineer or programmer in general. Because the thing is, when it comes to front-end, it faces many of the same challenges that you face in a different format. Now, you're not gonna have a problem with memory leakage. Well, you could have that as well in the browser, but generally you face a certain, a certain set of problems when you're working at the front end. And that's number one. You have to have the skills to actually be able to solve these sorts of problems. And this is why I keep telling people that if you only know CSS and you only know JavaScript and you only know HTML, in other words, you cannot produce a server, you have never ever, you don't understand the full stack, then you will never be as good as you can be. You will never be a, in my personal opinion, you will never be a good front-end developer because you simply don't understand how, how the whole thing works. You don't have to be a master of everything, you just have to understand what it is that you're building. And that brings me to number two. And that's the thing that is more important than I think than anything else. And that is to understand the platform. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that you need to know the tools of the trade so well that you can foresee the sort of challenges that you will face. In other words, how do you maintain a front-end project over time? How do you write JavaScript in such a way that it's easy to maintain it over time and it will be able to scale and it won't have like your page won't like magically start having performance issues how do you debug an SBA that doesn't perform how do you write CSS that don't, don't doesn't put you in a scaling hell where you have specificity problems and you now start to append rules on top of everything how do you lazy load things how do you handle webpack for example how do you debug it how do you do inline styles with using webpack and stuff of that, this nature in fact i have found that when it comes to front end the times that your speciality as a front-end developer actually becomes useful and not just something that anybody can do. Because, I, and this is me saying it guys, building a graphical interface using CSS and JavaScript, once you've been working for a year or two, this shouldn't be all that tricky for you. The tricky part is to know all the tools to know the testing frameworks, how to set all that up, how to set up build pipelines, gulp, grunt, this sort of thing. This is everything around the actual building of things. And absolutely, being able to know about certain more advanced techniques that is going to make your code cleaner, such as CSS, HTML, no sorry, uh, Java, um, CSS grid and Flexbox and all these things, they are absolutely useful, but these are not the things that are going to make you, going to make you a good front-end developer or not. Because trust me, most of the time, my back-end developer coworkers, they are doing just fine. They don't come to me to ask about how to set a color or a test, text alignment or something of that nature. They come to me when they have an issue with either Webpack or React is behaving in a weird way and they don't understand how the Redux state is being, being passed through or the re-rendering process. They don't understand how, say, Gulp or Grunt is behaving on a certain platform and stuff of this nature. This is the stuff that they need help with. So think about that. What did I just say? The problem was never to actually be able to produce an interface because that's something that most developers and most people working in IT can actually do. The problem is that Frontend has a massive tool suite and a very complex platform. CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, being a master in all these three at the same time and really knowing your shit and knowing about different browser compatibilities and all that stuff and debugging issues like that and knowing all the tools. Let's just talk, the tools themselves are massive. That's the sort of thing that companies really value. That's the sort of thing that your coworkers really value. And as I said, that doesn't exclude you from having to know these tools. And as I said, knowing design, knowing JavaScript, and knowing CSS, CSS it's fundamental stuff. In order to, for you to be a good front-end developer, you need to know them, but to really stand out, 
the sort of thing that you're going to have to work on is the tools and the platform. Because that's the stuff that gets really complicated over time. Have a great time.